Hi, this is a tutorial on how to downscale your 1080p 60fps video output to 720p 60fps in the record via an Elgato or other capture device. Uh, the use case for this is when your PC isn't exactly strong enough to record straight from the game, but you have a second PC which can receive the stream, capture the video feed, give it straight back to your PC via the USB, and then save that to disk. So, first thing you'll need is OBS. Just click the download. Um, I assume you've already got it installed. So the first thing you're going to do is create a scene, uh, test. Then we're going to go add a source, game capture, and we're going to select specific window, CSGO. I'm just going to initialize it because I've got it running in windowed mode. Here we are, it's coming through. Okay. There's a couple of settings you want to do as well. Um, so this is what we're going to be streaming to on the second PC. Uh, this is just a password. Arbitrary, we can set it to wherever we want. One, two, three, four. The output, this is actually, this is the downscaling side of it, so we're not going to do that because that adds load to your graphics card if you're using this, uh, and the bitrate. Basically the higher the bitrate, the lower load uh, on your CPU, because it doesn't have to compress it uh, and make changes to the video, you can just send it straight. Um, audio, just make sure it's set to default or whatever you want here. Default's just going to choose uh, whichever one you have set here, so in my case, speakers, my headphones. Uh, and then here you have rescaling, um, so this is done on the CPU after it's come from the graphics card. Um, so you've got Billionaire, Bicubic, and Lanchos. Um, here's Cornelius Lanchos, designed an algorithm. Um, and that's what's used here. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, so press apply OK. And once you've done that on this PC, I'm going to go over to the streaming PC. There's two things you're going to need on that. You're going to need SM Player, which is an alternative to VLC, which I think is, is actually quite a bit better. Um, so you're just going to click the download. Um, it's not the quickest, but it's alright. Uh, yeah, once again, just search NGINX or NGINX, sorry, um, SM Player, uh, and then hit downloads. So this is NGINX or NGINX. Uh, we're looking for Gryphon, which has RTMP pre-installed. Just going to click here, download. And you want to find Gryphon right here. Just click that, and that's reasonably quick download. And yeah, there you go. I've already got it, so I don't need to worry about it. Basically, once you've got that ready, uh, there's a config that you want to do that I've already done on here. So I'll just show you. So in the config file nginx.conf basically <laughs> this is what it looks like when you first get um, the application what you need to do is add this bit in uh, but you don't need any of the rest of it so it'll actually end up looking like this so I'll have this in a paste bin that you can copy from uh, you want to copy that and just paste it in like that now you can mess around with this value you can make that auto you just so it'll choose on its own I've just got it set as one that works for me Chunk size 4000, listening. This is the port. So, if this port is taken, you can change this to something else. Um, basically, that's it. You won't need to do anything from there. Um, so, if I, I've actually got that set up already uh, in, in here. <coughs> uh, yeah, so once you've got that config set up in here, next thing you're going to do is just open Nginx, double click, just like that. And you're going to see two two processes pop up right here, so mine's the 32-bit. Um, once you've done that, next thing you're going to want to do is check the IP address of the computer. So as you can see here, this is my IP address, 192.168.1.87. So if we go back to OBS, have a look at the stream, this IP address should be in here and you want RTMP there, which is the protocol. So you have HTTP, HTTPS and RTMP, it's just a different protocol. Forward slash live, which is what the uh, server we've just set up is listening to. And the stream key, basically a password, 1234, you can set this to whatever you want. More numbers, doesn't matter. We'll keep it 1234. Um, yep. So we're streaming to the IP address of the computer. So if your computer has a different IP address, in here, you want to change uh, the OBS to that. So you're going from 
computer one. There we go. Computer one, computer two. Go from here to this IP address. This is dot eight seven. And this one, I don't know what it is, doesn't matter. Basically, you want to be sending from OBS to your N Nginx, uh, listening on that particular URL. So once you've done that, um, you need to open up the stream. So I'm going to go open up SM Player, which you've hopefully installed. And we're going to open URL and put in RTMP, which is the protocol localhost, which is the computer that you're currently on, uh, and the stream key, forward slash live, and then the stream key. So I'm going to press OK. Now I'm not streaming to it currently, so it's going to, just going to stay loading. I'm going to go back to here, and I'm going to press start streaming. Uh, now if we go back to here, we'll see it's actually popped up with the stream in OBS. So we can, just to confirm, we can move that across. That's moved. So that's live right now. Basically, um, how you get it to downscale is you create a second, um, when you've plugged in your uh, Elgato, you create a second screen and you set the resolution to 1280 by 720, which is 720p. Uh, and then you, what you want to do is drag the video output onto there. You won't be able to see this of course, because it's uh, attached to the Elgato, so only the Elgato can see this. But what you can do is remote desktop to your computer, or use TeamViewer, or even just guess. So this is now running the stream full screen. Uh, so if I go back to OBS, we move this again, we'll see this moving, like that. So now we're going to open up the Elgato, whatever streaming uh, so capture card you're using their software once that's open you'll receive the stream here we go that's received it I can change the uh, the output to the desktop and then this will change showing you what's on the screen just like that okay put back to CSGO, just put on the blank screen. Um, so basically now if, when you hit record, that's recording to your hard drive on the computer. Um, so the process is, uh, your computer does the least amount of processing, this computer captures it, then the Elgato in the middle gets the gets the video feed from your second monitor. I don't know how we can say that. So this, this computer actually has two monitors. So that's split in half. This one's smaller. Uh, the Elgato is getting this one and then giving that back to your computer through the USB and then uh, that's being saved to your hard drive on your computer which overall is less processing than what your computer would be doing otherwise. Um, so yeah that's how you uh, play a video game in 1080p 60fps uh, and then capture it using an Elgato Game Capture HD at 60fps. Sad from all the leaves that surround